Okay, hi everyone and welcome back to Cobra Farm. We're going to be continuing with the harvest today. First of all, I'm going to just go and sell this wheat and then I'm going to go over to the main yard and wash the trailer out with the pressure washer. It's a grubby thing and it needs to be cleaned really because it's having wheat in it. Uh, it's not been cleaned since the sugar beet. So just sell this, see what we can get for it and then I'll head over to Cobra Farm. You get a lot more money for this than you do for sugar beet. Uh, let's have a look. I'll have a look on here. Uh, wheat, 643 pounds per ton. And the sugar beet was, I think it was 400 and something when I did it. So, not so good. You get a lot more for the grain than you do for the sugar beet. Okay, so we'll just put it over next to the pressure washer. Give it a quick rinse. Quickly rinse out the inside. Yeah, that should be good. Nice and clean now for our wheat to go in. Much better. Okay, so we'll head back to that field and continue with the harvest. I'd like to finish that field today. And of course we're going to have to check to see if the combine is the right width for those rows in between the trees. It was measured out for the New Holland, so it might not. However, the New Holland is pretty much half the size of this header. Not quite, but it's not far off. Okay, so I've taken one headland off. I've, I've gone around once. Uh, I think that'll probably be enough, actually. I can't really go around again because obviously the trees come out quite a long way. So I'm going to leave it there and I'm going to get this thing running again and see how well this goes. Now, it might not be very efficient because, like now, I'm only taking in just less than half of the header. So, all of this is wasted. And if this is the case all the way through, all the way down there, uh, then it will be a bit annoying. But the New Holland's header, I did check, and I think it was 18 feet. Let's just have a look here. Uh, let's have a look. Yep, 18 foot. Uh, and this one, which I've just bought, is 35 feet. Now, the New Holland's one, is about 5.5 meters and the cases one is apparently 10.5 now obviously that's not exactly double this would be 11 meters if that was if there was two of them this is only 10.5 so it's half a meter short um, it was measured out for that one so uh, really realistically this should be about half a meter missed each time whether or not there will be I don't know it's gonna be annoying so I might have to upgrade the header once again to the 45 meter one and hopefully that will be able to fit through there without hitting the trees but we'll just see how it goes if it's really annoying I might look to change the header and again here it's just missed a bit there but this one is a bit of an exception because of it's been the first row in so it's bound to be not exactly right so the first one here is our true test let's have a look see how well this goes I'm guessing it is going to miss some how much I don't know now if I come out of cab view you can see oh it is missing so it's going to miss some it's an annoying amount it's literally that bit down the side so maybe if this was upgraded to the bigger header 
it might be an improvement. Uh, it still has to fit through here though, so we will see. I might sell this header and replace it when I sell the next trailer of grain. We'll see how it goes. Now I have decided that once I've harvested the field, I will be re-drilling it with the direct drill. And then once I've harvested it again the second time with the second crop, I will then be doing the trees. So yes, it's uh, it has left quite an annoying amount there. Exactly what I didn't want it to do. I would say that was probably more than half a metre though, so maybe the New Holland would have missed some as well. I don't know. So I will have to look into getting the bigger header if that will fit this machine okay. into the second one then they should be very similar should be exactly the same yep so yeah, I'm definitely going to have to change the header I think bit annoying but should be able to get enough money from this field to be able to do that so it's not the end of the world and I really do like this combine I'm so glad that I bought it really well modelled really nice to drive powerful and of course it can take the bit he bigger header so it's good if only I could afford to keep the new Holland as well though that would be nice because then I could do just this field with the smaller one and then use this one for all of the other fields which don't have these rows of trees in that would be the ideal world but obviously we don't have the money for that okay so Combine's full. We'll just empty this. And I'll then check and see how much the header is worth. And also decide whether or not to actually get it or not. Okay, so when I do have enough money, I am going to replace that header. And obviously I'll get some money back for this one. The new one is £79,000. So not cheap. But my sort of guesstimate is that it will be the exact width of each row. So it should be perfect. And of course it's got to fit between the trees. Now that one is 13 point something meters wide. This one is 10.5. So if you look at that, you can sort of imagine how many more meters that would be. And it should be exactly right. I could be totally wrong. We will find that out later on. Um, but if all things go to plan, I really hope they do, uh, then that should be the right header. Now, obviously you'd probably want the next size up combine as well for that, but I can't really afford it. So I just have to live with what I've got. Um, so yeah, that should be all good if all things go well. So that's what I'll be doing when I get the money. It shouldn't be too long and I still need to check what I'll get for the, this current header in return. Um, I'll just see what this is actually worth before I take it to the store to sell. Okay, that's 27,000 so is it about 20% 20, 20 on top of that? I'm not sure. Uh, but that should give us a bit more. Obviously I do need to sell a few more trailer loads of grain first. So I'm just going to have to live with this issue to begin with. Now next time I harvest this field, and maybe later on in this harvest, uh, it should all run smoothly. It's only because this is the first time I've actually done it properly. And... I didn't really know what header to go for, so a bit of a risk, and it turns out it is the wrong size header. 
So if I can just upgrade it, then everything should be fine. So once I get to the end of here, I'll empty the combine and the trailer should then be virtually full for another load to go and sell. Hopefully. Now, I would use the course play, but obviously with all these trees about, that's not going to happen. So probably best if I just do this myself and give a cause a lot of issues crashing into the trees and everything. I'll just put that there and we'll jump into this tractor wait for it to finish unloading and that should give us a bit more money I'm not sure exactly how many loads I'll have to sell before I can afford the new header I'm guessing it's going to be around three full loads I have got some in storage but I don't really want to be going back to the main yard it's completely the wrong direction so that's 91% full I'm not going to wait for another tank load because it won't all fit. So we'll have a look to see how much I can make from this. Yeah, I think I'm going to stick with three loads and then I can get the new header. That's 22,000. So yeah, one more load and then I'll sell that current header and then get the tractor and pick up the new one. And another good thing about the other header is it's actually got those wheels which come down from it and you can put the drawbar on it and that allows you to tow it everywhere uh, without putting it on a s separate trailer. So I can also sell the header trailer which is nice. It's all in one. So yeah, back to the field, one more load and then we'll be buying that. Now I'll just put this trailer down here somewhere. Uh, it needs to be out the way. Out there. And then we'll jump back in the combine and continue. And of course next time I drill, maybe using the direct drill before I use that really small one, which missed a load when it was on worker. So it should be a lot better next time. It's obviously wider. I'm going to do it myself because I think it will do a better job really than using that worker because it does miss bits and I can't really imagine a worker working either side of these trees so probably the best option is to do it myself but yeah another field if it's just a big open expanse field I would use a worker more but yeah realistically it's really not going to work in this field Now also, when I have the bigger header, because I should be able to do it all in one go, by that I mean you don't have to go up and then come down in the same row, uh, it means that there'll be just one swath when I when I put it into bail mode on the combine, uh, and it means that I'll be able to just go up, up one row and then down another with the baler, and just keep going round in a loop, uh, instead of having to go up and then down in the same one, quite hard to explain but you might understand what I'm talking about I will show you when I get round to that anyway when we have grown the second crop which will also be either wheat or barley because I would like to bale it next time the only reason I'm not baling it this time is because it is a trial and it's actually good that I didn't bale it because it would be a bit of a mess having to do this little bit each side every time so yeah, second time round it should all run smoothly, it should be successful and it should look fairly impressive. This time, yeah, it was going to have problems and there is one problem being the header size. Okay, just finishing off there and I'll put the auger out now, turn it off and we can unload it into the trailer. And once that's done, I'll go and put this header back on its trailer. We'll empty the tipper trailer, bring that back, pick
pick up that trailer and then we'll take that over to the store sell both of those and then we'll buy the new one which doesn't require an extra trailer try and get it as square as possible might be a bit too far this way I'm not sure we'll try it mm, it's not quite on that mount well I think I'll risk it and we'll go and sell this and that should give us the right amount of money to buy the new header Okay, so that is another 34,000 in total. We'll sell the other two things and that should, fingers crossed, bring us up to the right amount of money. Failing that, I'll have to go and get the wheat from the yard. I'll just put this trailer out of the way somewhere, about there probably. And we'll attempt to move this one. It looks to be it on it enough. I mean it's not going to fall off I don't think. It shouldn't be an issue. Right. If I go slow won't be any problem at all. Absolutely fine. The hardest thing will actually be getting it into this box. Obviously, it has to be in it to sell it. And that should be okay. Yep, and yeah, okay, so £81,886, just about enough, and we're going to buy it now, 79000 we're back at 2886 again, so uh, we always are staying in the low figures now, all this is expensive equipment, but the good thing about this one is it's obviously on its own header trailer, which folds up, and it disappears obviously when it's uh, in use because it folds into the header itself which is very handy it's just getting attachment to it good so I'm hoping this one is going to be just as easy to tow clearly very long need the beacons for it but it's only a few meters bigger so it should be just right for us, I'm hoping. But this one might not be quite so easy to turn in there because it's not got the axle right at the end of the header. No, it's not quite as good. But it is through the gate which is the main point. Okay, just spin round in here. And we'll detach it from the tractor. And put this back on the other trailer. 
It's a lot of moving in between trailers, but once it's sorted, it should be good. This can just stay out of the way for now. Okay, in the moment of truth, is everything going to work out as I was planning? Probably not. But it's worth a go. So I'll just remove the wheels, take the drawbar off. It's looking good. And we'll head down there, go and do a row, see if it fits. Really hope it's the right width. Be really annoyed if it's just too big or well, it wouldn't be too small but yeah if it's just too big that'd be annoying okay here we go moment of truth let's see if it's gonna work we'll just set the header up I'll come out of cab view please be the right width look at that perfect that is exactly right so it must mean that the trees are about 13 metres apart, well, a bit more, but that's the side of the header. And yeah, just got to be extra vigilant because obviously I could hit the trees very easily now. But it doesn't miss any. That is really good. Really happy about that. A bit tricky if I'm in the cab view, of course, because I've got to look at both sides all the time, make sure I'm not hitting the trees. But yeah, overall that is absolutely fantastic. And you might can you might be able to see what I mean now about the bales. Obviously, because it can take the whole row up at a time, you'd be pulling one row of straw down for the bale to collect and bale up. And it means that it won't make a mess and it'd be much easier to do. And I think when I do that the second time round, it will be with the square baler. I think I'm going to buy one of those. I've not really done too much with the square baler yet, so it would be nice to. The round bales are still good, because they're handy for moving about for the feed and the bedding. But they do roll away a lot, and I haven't done too much with the square bales, so I'm definitely going to do that next as well. So yeah, virtually at the end of this field now hoping that you've enjoyed it. I know it's been a bit of trial and error with this header. Uh, clearly the first one was not right. A bit expensive, but we're here now and next time everything should run really smoothly. Okay, so I'm just going to leave that here for now until next week. We will be continuing with this on Tuesday at the same time, so please stay tuned for that. Of course, tomorrow we have got the car mechanic simulator and a bit of farming simulator as well, but not this map. Uh, Monday, your truck simulator 2, and then we will be returning to this on Tuesday. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you then.